guys, Cindy Oda here with my Artsy Endeavors. How are we doing today? Oops, I forgot to pick 10 sticks. Oh no! It is time for our pick 10 for this month. Here they are, the lovely sticks. Um, my room is still a complete mess, but hey, I'm finding stuff. That's all that's good about it. So anyways, how's everybody doing? I am doing okay. Um... Life is good, as best it can be. There's a random piece of paper. All right, what we're going to do is our pick 10 for March. Um, a dear friend of mine is sending me some handmade beads. So I can't wait to make this beaded and chunky and luscious and fun. That's going to be awesome. But anyways, let's get to our pick 10 this month. This was last month. And... Here we are. We've only got one more signature left to go in this in this journal, and it'll be done. So let's find some cover. Do, 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 do. Come to me. This, um, you guys. I don't know if you've seen these or not. These are from the Dollar Tree. Um, Gina Aaron's actually. Um, Got me onto these. They're cutting boards from the Dollar Tree. Plastic cutting boards. They come two in a pack. These are wonderful to put in your journals so that you don't get paint on your other pages if you don't want. So, all right. So, how are we going to do this today? You know what I think I'm going to do? And Oops. Just stuck my finger in paint. Um, instead of picking all ten out, I'm just going to randomly. I'm not looking. Number one. Use metallic paints. Hmm, I wonder where my metallic paints are. <laughs> All right, hold on, I'll be right back. All right, so I found two metallic paints. Um, these are both Anita's metallics. Um, one is in white, the other's in rose. And I have this stencil that a dear friend of mine sent to me. Look at this, isn't this awesome? It's an Andy Skinner, and it's called Route 66, and it's basically like tire tracks. Come on. Come out! Isn't that neat? So let's grab some of this paint and let's play. I wonder if I can put this under here without that knobby. Oh, all right, we're gonna leave that out. I got too much junk on my desk, guys. All right, let's throw some metallic paint down here. Like I said, that's rose and this is the white. And let's grab a sponge, preferably one that's not used. This one I don't... I love these cosmetic sponges because what I do is I just... When the, the end gets really bad, I just cut it off and I use another spot. All right. We are going to use some metallic paints. So how's everybody been? I hope good. Um, I've been busy. Ugh. I told my husband I'm not moving again. Period. Never. Done. This is it. This is my forever home. I'm staying here. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Ugh. You know, when we were younger, it wasn't quite so bad. It was just like, eh, you know, whatever. But, uh, not now. I can't, I can't do this anymore. So... All right, I'm just I'm just trying to be light. I got a little bit of the white mixed, oops, mixed in with that rose. So there we go. We used metallic paints. Let's see what is next. And numbers, numbers. You know, I had a thing of rub-on numbers. Where are they? Let me find them. I'll be right back. Of course. Do you think I could find my rub-on numbers? No, not when I need them. So, I did pull out this drawer. This is a drawer of, um, what's it say on it? It says letters. But I do have these rulers in here, which are kind of cool. Ooh, that one would kind of go. Let's see. We are going to use some of these numbers. Why not? It's what it says, right? All right. So, I'm going to take one. We're going to make three out of it. Just because we can. All right, let's put that back. Oh, 
Oops, forgot the little letters. Now watch, I'll have to get them all back out, right? <laughs> all right, so we've got numbers. Let's put them down with tacky glue. That way I know they're going to stay. Are they stickers? Nope. I love tacky glue, but this is the only thing I don't like about it. It seems to take forever to get glue out of the thing. So I'm going to keep it in my little, I have this little can here, it's missing a lid, and I normally keep my tacky glue in it. Alright, there's one. Number. These are so cool to do. I never know what they're going to end up looking like. <laughs> you just never know. All right, so there's numbers. Top. Okay, next. Stamp background. I can do that. All right, let me move these over here. So I can write them down in the order that I do them. All right, stamp background. So I have a lot of stamps right here. Um, I actually have them next to me in a drawer. So let's use this, all right? And you know what? Instead of um, using ink, I'm going to use this paint, this metallic paint that I have out. So I'm going to take my jelly plate. This is a little one. This is the three three by five, which I had forgotten I had until I unpacked. Um, and what I'm going to do, I'm just going to stick that here, is I'm going to take that metallic paint that I have over here on the table. This is the rose and the white, and I'm just going to briar it on my jelly plate. And then I'm just going to use this stamp to stamp into it. How cool is that? And then before I do anything with that, I'm just going to take a print. This is just a place to copy your paper. And there's a print of that background. Isn't that cool? All right, so let's get one more if I can off here. Just a little bit. I don't need a whole lot. All right. So there we go. We stamped our background. What's next? Okay. We did that. Let me just wipe the... Um, the biggest thing about doing paint on your stamps is you just have to make sure that you wipe them off. Um, that's all I do. I just wipe it down with a baby wipe. All right, let's see. Number one, two, three. Let's see. Number four is use a baby wipe. <laughs> okay, then. You know what? I'm going to use the same baby wipe, and I still have this paint over here. Um, I haven't added another color yet because I'm just not sure. So we're just going to use a baby wipe, and we're going to give it a border. Why not? We can. I'll use a little bit of that white paint. Aha! There we go. I got some of that white paint too. This was from another project, this white paint. So. Alright, so we used a baby wipe. Where'd it go? There it is. Alright, next, number five is. Sharpies through a stencil. We can do that. All right, give me just a second. I need to get some of this stuff off my desk, and I will get out a stencil, and we will go from there. So I'll be right back. Oh. All right, so um, I picked out this stencil. This is uh, actually it says it's a Fiskars stencil, and I just thought it was kind of cool. Here's my thing, Sharpies through the stencil. All right, and I picked out um, just a baby blue. Uh, because I just this page looks like it's kind of just toning down, so I thought it was kind of cool. So let's do. I'm trying to think if I want to do it over. I'm trying. I'm overthinking this. Let's just do it. We're just gonna play. So we're gonna do some 
Um, we're just doing some Sharpies through a stencil. That's all we need to do, right? I don't know if I want to do those big ones. Do I? Do I? Do I? You're saying, yeah, go for it, Cindy. I can hear you. The crowd is yelling, yeah, yeah, use the big ones. I know I'm a little bit crazy, but hey, aren't artists, all artists crazy? We're not crazy, we're just a little bit fun. All right, let's throw some down here. Oops. Do -do. So we're doing some Sharpies through a stencil. Hmm. By the way, I just want to let you guys know, I love seeing what you do. I love seeing your pages. So don't forget to share your pages on my um, Facebook page, which is Artsy Endeavors. And uh, if you don't belong, definitely um, join join us because, you know, anybody that, any time I can inspire somebody to do art, I just love to see what you do. So don't forget to join me on my Artsy Endeavors page. All right. So that was number five. I'm not going to put these away because I have a feeling you'll never know. I might eat them again. All right, next. Number six is uh, this one. What's it say? Scribble. I don't want to scribble. <laughs> All right, I'll scribble. This is my scribble. Actually, I'm writing hidden messages. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, we scribbled. Okay, next. This is add paint with cardboard. Hmm. Well, I got the paint. Believe it or not, I have to see if I can find a piece of cardboard. Um, actually, you know what? There's a box right behind me. Ha <laughs> ha! Let me get. I gotta cut it. Hold on. Yeah, we still have boxes that haven't been unpacked. So I'm gonna add paint with cardboard. So let's take this. All right, and it's time to find another paint. So I'm gonna find another. Let's see. I'm gonna hang on to that piece of cardboard. Um, let's do a. Let's do a blue. Why not? All right, add paint to cardboard. So I'm gonna take this blue, put it on my palette over here. Um. Where'd my brayer go? Right there. I'm going to take my brayer. Even it's still got some of the other paint on it. And we're going to add paint with cardboard. Cool beans. I like it. I like it. How cool is that? I'm going to keep that. All right, so we added paint with cardboard. I'm going to dry this. All right, let's see what's next while this is drying. Oops. Knocked over my paint. So here's my... And we are going to do this one. It says stars. Stars. You know what? I have a really big... I think I have a really big stencil of stars. Let me grab that. I will be right back. All right, so, you know, it's kind of scary when, I, that's one thing I will say, with the stencils, I know what I have, which is just, I don't know how I keep track of it all, but anyways, um, let's add some stars. And I'm gonna do it with this blue that I used for the cardboard. And let's just throw some stars down. They don't have to be perfect, do they? No stars perfect. Yay! 
I'm liking how this page is coming out, by the way, just so you know. Uh, let me get a little bit more of that blue. Just a touch. So I can add more stars. Yay! This is my star page. This is for all of you. Look at all those stars. Perfect. I had one right there, or two. Maybe a couple over here. All right, stars. Stars have been added. I'll put that away in a minute. We have, how many is that? Eight. We have two more to go. And let's see. Let's pick this one. Scraps. Hmm, I actually have a little bucket right here. This is something new. Oops, that's got to go to somebody. Um, this is something new that I've I've decided to keep on my desk. Don't mind that mess. And that is all these little bitty scraps. So I guess it's perfect timing, huh? So we can use up some of these scraps. Um, these are just ends that. Are... Oh, look at this. What goes better with mu with stars than music, right? Let's do some music scraps on here. Let's take, this is matte medium. And I'm just gonna put a little bit right here. With my big old brush. That's upside down, but that's all right. I don't care. And we're gonna put some scraps down. Oops. Come on. Need more matte medium. Come on, baby. Fill me up. There we go. Actually looks kind of cool, doesn't it? It's funny because I've never, I haven't, really don't have like a focal point for this page. As of yet, anyways. We have one more to go. Who knows? I don't think I should put any more. All right, I like it. And number 10 is, all right, there's scraps. And let's see, number 10 is, I just have to put those to the side. And number 10 is a silhouette. Hmm. Okay, give me a minute, I'll be right back. All right, so I found me a silhouette. And I'm going to use this one just because I think it's cool. And I'm going to actually put her, her, him. I kind of want her like right there. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is grab a couple pieces of masking tape because I don't trust Cindy to hold it straight. There's my jelly plate. I got to move that. Where's my jelly plate? Stick this in here for a minute. All right, so kind of want her right here. So I'm just gonna kind of stick her in place with some masking tape. It's all good. All right, now what I think I'm gonna do, well, what I know I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna outline her first. If I can find my pen, well, Stabilo will work. All right, we're gonna use the Stabilo. So I'm going to outline her. Doo -doo. Oops, stay there. It's not going to be exact, but that's all right. Oops, I don't like copying things. Stabilo is getting on the... Doo -doo -doo -doo. And it's okay that I'm making messes on the stencil because no big deal, just wipe it off. And it's okay that, um, you know, I've got extra on there, that's fine. Right, we're gonna use this on something. 
you know what, I'll stick it right on this piece of paper I got here. That works. Okay. So I have my silhouette here. Now I was thinking about it. I'm like, oh, I don't really want to paint it black because yeah, most silhouettes are black. Well, that's not what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to paint it um, this wine color in white. So I'm going to use the wine and the white. I just have to write, wipe this off a little bit. My brayers are really dirty. I got to get them soaked again. But anyways, I had to get that wiped off. So I'm going to take this this wine and some of the white actually I'll use the metallic white and we are going to paint her I don't know why it's a her but it is all right so here's the wine and here's the white and I have a crispy critter brush I'm not sure what up with that what's up with that and then I'm just going to kind of mix the two. Yeah, apparently this brush has been used before and not cleaned. Imagine that. And I'm just going to paint her. And this is going to kind of give her like a transparency, with it, which I think is actually kind of cool. Yeah, fun, fun, fun. And I can also wet that Stabilo and just kind of give it um, an outline, which is cool too. So I'll just wet the Stabilo. See how it's giving her an outline? <clears throat> yeah! So like I said, definitely, you know, go on to the Artsy Endeavors um, Facebook page and, and share what you create. I just, I really enjoy looking at them. And uh, it's fun. It's fun to watch and see how, you know, everybody's take on the same exact prompts is so different. And I love it. I think it talks to the style of that person. Um, I, I just, it's, it's fun. And, you know, I originally started these with the Art Junkie. Um, and then I know she got really really sick and I just kind of kept on with them and uh, so definitely check her out as well the art junkie they're fun I think you know it's just a little break from the the average you know I'm gonna paint a journal page you know this this you're painting it but you're not painting it you know just out of your head you've got to work in the prompts and I think that's what's really cool about it and yes I'm doing the whole thing of her this color because she's supposed to be a silhouette which means she's not going to have any details I don't know I'm going she she okay she's a she <laughs> and she's just going to be dancing to the music oh no not that far she's not These are so fun. So funny that I had just mentioned that we didn't have a focal point. And you know what? I would have been okay with that as well. Had there not been a focal point, then apparently there wasn't supposed to be one. But um, here she is. So. See, I'm not sure what happened to her neck there. But we'll just kind of we'll fake it and we'll put one in. You know, one thing that, the only thing I want to say is, you know, I've had a lot of people um, talk about, you know, their art's not good enough, they're not, they're not at this level or that level or the other level, and you know, the only thing I can say about that is this is not about levels, it's not about competition, it's not about how good you are or how bad you are or how inexperienced you are or how much experience you have, this is about... Um, taking out a journal, getting out your art supplies. You don't have to have the best. I mean, I'm using craft paints, and you know, there's so many more colors in craft paints, and for what I do, if I was doing fine art, that would be different, but I'm not. I'm playing in an art journal. This is just paper and paint. So, you know, don't let that stop you from expressing yourself. 
this is a form of expression. It's just how you are putting down um, thoughts and feelings and, and any of that. Um, if you don't think that's what you're doing, okay, so then you're just playing. You know, it's not about who has and who does and who's good and who's not. That's not what art's about. At least in my mind, that's not what art's about. And hence why I love to play. I'm not, you know, oh my God, I can't put her on there because she's not perfect. I don't care. I'm having fun. I'm playing. You know, I'm sharing my play with you guys. And I just hope you enjoy it because that's what it's all about. All right, there she is. There is our silhouette. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this today. Um, don't forget to leave a comment. Like, comment, share. Please share and subscribe. Um, if you know anybody, any of your art friends that you think would have fun doing this, um, shoot them over to my channel. I'd love to see them. All right. And as always, don't forget, have fun. That's what life's all about. And happy creating. I'll see you next month. Bye.